I'm going to do a leftover mixed media background paint. I'm just going to spray my palette that I just painted using um, Dr. PH Martin Radiance paints. And I'm just going to quickly flip it. Actually, I'm going to put my paper on top, my block of watercolor paper, because I accidentally splashed some on it. So I probably wouldn't use it for like a brand new painting. And I'm quickly going to flip it. And we are going to make a cool background. It'll be a perfect start for a mixed media painting. Sometimes we're afraid of the um, the blank canvas, so this will be a great way to kind of get right away from that. And I kind of like to use the spray bottle to guide my paint, just because it kind of gets me out of that um, trying to control aspect and I am cleaning up my palette while I'm doing it so it's actually serving a couple purposes here. I am going to try to keep similar colors together just so I don't end up with a muddy background but um, other than that I'm really not trying to manipulate it all that much. Clean my brush between color families and kind of clean up this uh, green area here and see what we end up with. I think when it's all dry, we'll have a pretty cool background to use for, um, I don't know, maybe cards, or maybe just to kind of start as an underpainting for something else. Like maybe I'll use it um, for the bottom of a pastel painting or something. Let it mush around a little bit. And I think, you know, because it's such a bold color, this would be really great to do a plastic wrap um, background in. So I'm just going to grab a sheet of cling wrap and press it right on there. All right, there we go. And I like to kind of squish it, press it in there and smush it with my hands a little bit because these ridges that we see are what will, um, where the paint will collect and it'll kind of dry like that. And we'll have that cool texture on there. So I'm not sure what I'm going to use this background for, but it will be there when I am ready to use it for something. I hope you found this tip helpful. Clean off those palettes, make some cool backgrounds, and get rid of the fear of the blank page. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.